Hello everyone, as you can see, we've got some gaming greats in front of us. We've already unboxed RC1138, which is boss, uh, who just fell over. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and click, uh, have a link up here if you're interested in learning more about that figure. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and unbox the Imperial Senate Guard. I'm actually lo really looking forward to this guy, so we'll go ahead and pull him out there. Um, if, uh, if you have any questions about the fi these figures, make sure to ask down below. So what we're going to do here, like I said, we're going to unbox the Imperial Senate Guard uh, from Star Wars The Force Unleashed. He's, of course, a gaming great. It's in the U.S., only available from GameStop. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the side here. I've already seen that. And then uh, on the back here, we've got Star Wars The Force Unleashed, uh, number eight in the, the Gaming Greats lineup here. And on the back here, it says Imperial Senate Guard, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, follows Darth Vader's secret apprentice trained to hunt down and destroy Jedi, while Imperial Senate Guards impose the will of the Emperor on the galaxy. And we'll go on the side and back to the front here. So let's go ahead and unbox the figure as we do. Go ahead and go from the bottom. If you have any questions, like I said before, make sure to ask down below. Put him over there just for right now. Don't need this guy. I'm still surprised that Hasbro includes all of that, but oh well. Uh, and the blade went flying. All right, we'll have to find that guy. Um, and then uh, got the staff here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up and we'll be right back. All right, so this is actually a pretty exciting looking figure. Uh, we have the staff here and we have the blade. Uh, the blade goes right in there. So just be careful when you're using this, uh, but uh, cause the blades tend to bend. Uh, super long staff. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and take that out there. Um, definitely going to have it actually on the figure, but as you can see, we do have basically a holster here uh, for the staff, which is cool. Uh, I just wanted to double check just to make sure that there wasn't a blaster or anything, but that is definitely what that is for, uh, which is actually really cool. I, I appreciate that. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure's articulation. Um, head isn't really going to go down very much, not going to go left or right very much. The arms, though, do go pretty much as far as you'd want them to. Uh, that piece there is a little rubberized. No movement at the upper arm. It's all going to be at the elbow. Uh, this arm, uh, this hand is a up-down. It's very small joint there, so just be careful with that. Uh, this one is also an up-down. Not a whole lot of movement at the torso. Normal movement at the upper thigh. It is a doubled knee, however. And that is the figure. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and take some pictures. And while I'm going through this, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. All right, so I think that was a good look at the Imperial Senate Guard. It's actually a, a better figure than I was expecting. I especially like the holster there for the staff. Um, you know, I was a little disappointed with the movement on the head, but I mean, what are they going to do as far as making that, that helmet type thing work uh, as far as being able to turn the head? So I guess I'm not that disappointed after all. Uh, it's, it's definitely an imposing looking figure. Uh, may need to get another one just to 
make it look good on the shelf. Uh, the Imperial Guards almost always look better in pairs. Uh, previous video, we did do the RC-1138, like I said. I'll leave a link up here if I didn't already. Uh, and the next video will be the Umbra Operative Arc Trooper. Uh, looking forward to that from Battlefront 2. So if you have any questions about this figure or any of the other figures in the lineup here, make sure to ask down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, like Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series. But we also do other things as well, like home automation, gaming, uh, going to theme parks, basically anything that a professional geek might find interesting. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.